Right, in this video, we are going to create a simple CDS view. And it's important to note that we are running in SAP 7.52, Service Pack 04, and this is using the App App Developer Trial um, from SAP. So let's go ahead and create our CDS view using Eclipse. And I'm going to log in quickly. And I'm going to expand my temp package and I'm going to right click new other app app repository object. I'm going to look for core data services and I'm going to create a data definition. Once I'm there, I'm going to call it, um, let's call it Z. Ah, here it is already Z invoice items. And let's double up one. And we're just going to call this invoice items in the description, um, which is fine. It's in this package. Now we need to grab our referenced object. We're going to go and browse and we are going to look for, uh, it's already here, but it's SCPM, SDDL, SO invoice item. Um, we need to go ahead and grab that because that is what we're going to work with. And if we click on next, it should go through. That's fine. We're not worried about transports and we can go ahead and finish. Give that a few seconds to load. And here we are. We are presented with our standard uh, boilerplate code, I guess you could call it. And uh, from here, we are going to give our view a name. So let's call it Z invoice underscore double one. That's fine. So I just press shift F1 for some formatting and we've got our view defined here, which is all good. Um, this is where we're grabbing our data from pretty standard select statement. So Let's go ahead and tidy this up a little bit and pull out two particular columns. Let's take up until currency code and gross amount and we can get rid of the rest of the stuff. And that's all fine. So now I think we already had it, but let's go ahead and add our header association back in and I'll we'll just I pull this up so we'll add header in here and you can always press control space bar and uh, this is a great way to um, pull what you need and what you need will be listed here and if it's not listed there it means somewhere along the lines you've made a mistake or something's gone wrong so this is great before you decide to execute or check or anything like that. So there we've got our header, which is fine. What is the issue here? Ah, so field header must be included in the selection list together with field blah de blah de blah sales order invoice key, which means we need to add that up here. Let's see, we possibly need to add this as a prefix. Uh, we should probably add it anyway, so we know exactly where each item is coming from. Ah, I see the issue. It's sales order invoice key, not invoice item key. That was the problem. So let's go ahead and add a few more fields from our header. And let's add our buyer company name. Okay, that's fine. Shift F1 for formatting. And let's go ahead and add a pay, add the payment status, but let's add a case statement as well. And let's pop in an X whenever the status is P. Now yeah, that'll work. So let's go ahead and add a case. Uh, ah, yes, case header. 
header.payment status when p then x pretty straightforward else blank space we can end as payment status that's fine so that looks good we've got a nice case statement there then let's pull so let's say where currency code is equal to us dollar in this case shift f1 to format again control s control f2 to check control f3 to activate and then let's execute and see if that worked there we are everything in us everything related to us dollar Our payment status is marked as xfp so that looks good and that that works okay so that is a very brief introduction into creating a cds view um, in this series we'll go into a lot more detail about what you can do and how far you can take this and how you can display this data to the user uh, but for now if you have any queries um, or questions on how to create this um, cds view in eclipse pop a comment down below and as always if you like the video please hit that like and subscribe button and thanks for watching.